Hello everyone, B.O.B. here, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. And upon request today, we have ourselves a 6x6 piston door. Now, if I'm completely honest, I didn't exactly fulfill this request. I mean, uh, it was actually for a 4x4 or a 6x6 piston door, and I went for the 6x6. Uh, but we were actually referring to doors kind of powered by flying machines and I mentioned at that point that something with just some triple piston extenders would be a lot easier uh, and, and save us a lot of space and I, I, well you know that's that's what I went with uh, something I don't typically do in my tutorials is uh, well I'm kind of showcasing two different designs I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you uh, the tutorial on this design here and this is the same thing I just kind of decided uh, after building this display model that it could be a lot more compact and so that's what I did so this is like the original prototype but I, I, I can give you a look around it because well this is the one that's uh, actually decorated <laughs> And of course we got our materials list here in this chest. We are going to need 12 sticky pistons, uh, 18 slime blocks and 18 honey blocks, but six of each could be swapped out for solid blocks. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, sticky blocks f for the entire door for this tutorial. Uh, but as you've seen in the beginning model, like the, the, the center of the door could be swapped out for solid blocks. Uh, we're, we're gonna need eight observers six comparators, 30 repeaters, <laughs> two redstone torches, uh, about a stack and a half of redstone dust. Uh, I, I don't think you'll actually need all of that. I think it's more like 70, 72 pieces. Uh, but yeah, just, just bring a stack and a half. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to be using uh, just two glass blocks in sort of a redstone ladder situation. Those could also be swapped out with slabs if you prefer. Um, you're going to need some glazed terracotta to at least wrap the border of your door. Um, anything, any part uh, 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 of your structure that touches the door has to be the glazed terracotta. Or I guess it could be obsidian. Else it's going to stick to the door. Uh, but a, a stack ought to do. That it should be more than enough. And then uh, two stacks of any solid building block should be more than enough uh, to complete at least the circuitry uh, and of course you know I'll leave the building it in part <laughs> up to you now you're gonna need at least a 22 by 6 area for this build and I have some markings on there to kinda guide and show me where to start uh, but if you take a look at the display model over here you can see the redstone circuitry goes about two blocks below the surface uh, the floor level would be right where this button is here um, so of course you're going to want to dig down two blocks below whatever floor you're on and we're going to start with our redstone dust we're going to come to the center two blocks we're going to actually have redstone dust across both of those but we're going to come to the right hand side we're going to go comparator 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 redstone dust redstone dust to the to the side of that then turn around and bring three more comparators all the way back to where you started so you have this little loop here and then if we place blocks on top of this redstone dust this is where we would power the door uh, via button or pressure plate uh, whatever power function you choose but if we're coming from this side of the door which I will be referring to as the front from here on out you're gonna wanna power this right hand block uh, you could power the left it would still work but the closing sequence uh, well, well there's there's a delay in it <laughs> but uh, as far as the other side you could power whichever block you prefer uh, I'll just go ahead and put it on the right to kinda keep it symmetrical uh, but we're gonna take a redstone signal off of these dashes of redstone dust here uh, and we're gonna do that with two repeaters we'll have one facing that way and one facing that way now we want both of those repeaters to feed into solid blocks so let's go ahead and place solid blocks on the end of each of those and then on the opposing side of each of those solid blocks go ahead and place redstone torches now we're gonna place a solid block right 
beside the redstone torch and then here we're going to make sort of an L shape so place one going towards the center of our structure here and then one more along the outside border of the structure and let's make that same shape on the other side so it should look just like that and from here we're going to step up just one block so let's go ahead and place a temporary and we'll place one block above that break away the temporary and then we need a, a sort of a U shape uh, right here um, so we want to place one block here one here one here one here and let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side and then it should look a little something like this okay and now we can go ahead and get our pistons put in place so what we're going to do is come down here to the side we're going to need to place just a temporary block right here i'm going to use a piston <laughs> uh so i'm going to so i can go ahead and get a piston hovering above the uh ground there and then we'll go ahead and place two pistons on the front of that do the exact same thing on the other side and so you should have this right here next let's go ahead and build a structure off the back of these pistons so uh well actually we're going to step down off of these pistons so let's place a temporary step down one here break away the temporary we want this to come out two blocks from the back of the piston and we're going to make this three long and then we're going to come in one towards the structure two blocks on the end of that come in one more right there then we're actually going to step down right here and wrap around oops not there to there now let's go ahead and mirror the same exact shape on the other side here and once you've done that you should have something like this right here um, now we can go ahead and get the bottom part of our door frame put in place and now to do that we will have to put in at least a temporary block right there you could leave that block in if you want um, but uh, we want the bottom part of the door frame to be the glazed terracotta now I'm kind of picky about how I place this stuff sometimes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually be picky about it this time but you want to start right at the end of that block there uh, that structure that we built off the back we are, we are on the back of the uh, door now and basically just bring that all the way across to right in front of this other piston and there we go that is the bottom door frame in place and the reason why we want that in place now is because we're actually gonna power blocks in that door frame uh, to help with our triple piston extenders here um, well I guess we can go ahead and start laying in the circuitry for this first layer of uh, pistons uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here to the front and this is the, right where we started and we'll start on the right hand side here uh, and, and you're gonna want to follow along these repeater timings need to be I exact or else the door will not function properly um, and for the people that don't know when you place down a repeater it's a one tick delay click it once that's two tick delay click it twice that's three click delay click it three times that's four four tick delay uh, so uh, I mean uh, that that will kind of speed the process of placing these in here <laughs> um, but we're gonna start here on this elevated block so it'd be aiming into your your first piston there you're gonna place down a repeater you want that set to four tick delay repeater into the back piston set that to three tick delay repeater into the back of that piston one tick delay repeater into the side of that repeater three tick delay <laughs> repeater into the center of this piston uh, this center piston three tick delay repeater right here facing off into nowhere <laughs> you want that at a four tick delay and then a repeater right here facing into the your glazed terracotta you want that at a two tick delay um, and then from here we can just kind of dust it all together so start with your dust right here bring it up to there separate line of dust over here
wrap that all around we do need to get our observers in place and what we're gonna do is place one observer here and yeah it's gonna fire things off so that's okay and you're gonna want the other one facing right at that repeater there so you're gonna want to crouch place right on the side and yeah it should fire off that that first piston when you put it in but that's just fine uh, now we need to mirror this same exact circuit <laughs> over here and you're gonna you're gonna get used to it because uh, well we got to do it two more times <laughs> but here we go uh, let's start on this elevated block right here we're gonna walk our way around just like we did on the other side aiming into the first piston we want a four tick delay aiming into the last piston we want a three tick delay aiming into the back of that piston one tick delay aiming into the side of that repeater three tick delay aiming into the center piston three tick delay aiming off into nowhere four tick delay and aiming into the glazed terracotta two tick delay and again chain it all together with the redstone dust all the way down here and we want to get our observers we want one facing the back piston we're on the back side of the door here uh, one facing the back piston <laughs> and of course crouch place one facing the repeater to nowhere there and we actually have two triple piston extenders intact all we have to do is place solid blocks here and here <laughs> and that, that would actually be part of your floor or uh, I would probably build pillars up on those or something to, uh, you know to kind of accent the door uh, but I, I want to take those out until we get the top layer put in now to put in our second layer of triple piston extenders it's actually real simple we're just going to step up off the circuitry we already have in place uh, so I'm going to place in a temporary block so I can step up here another temporary to step up a, one more time and then we're going to come back one direction let's place a temporary here and that's actually where I'm going to place in my uh, glass block like I said you could use a slab for this if you like uh, but from here we're just going to kind of build sort of the same structure we have down below but it's all going to be on one layer so let's go ahead and place one block we'll come one towards the center of our build here and then come over two and then one more toward the center of the build come over two more and then this one right here in the center has to be glazed terracotta uh, you won't be able to see this your door frame will actually be huh, right outside this um, so it, it really won't matter what direction you face that now we can get our pistons in place here so let's go ahead and place in a temporary place in the one beside that we'll go one two three and let's go ahead and do the same exact structure on the other side uh, of course we're just going in the reverse so you're gonna step up off the outside here And when you're done, you should have something like this right here. So we can go ahead and just uh, build those uh, structures off the back, just like we did down below. But we are going to make a slight modification toward the end here. <laughs> but start out the same way. We're going to step down off the back of the piston here. Go two wide, three long. We're going to come in one over two right like that so we're facing that middle piston there come in one more this is where we're gonna drop down so we're gonna have to place a temporary and step down off of that we're gonna wrap around like we did before oops not right there but there uh, and here we need a, another piece of glazed terracotta not there but there uh, so we're gonna have a repeater feeding directly into that and we can go ahead and mirror this same build on the other side <laughs> 
And once you've done that, your build should look a little something like this right here. Uh, now we can go ahead and start laying in our repeaters. And to do that, we're going to come to the front side of the build, uh, basically where we started the entire project. And, well, you know, first repeater, we're going to have that feeding into our very first piston on the right-hand side. We're going to lay it in just like we did below. So let's go four ticks three ticks into the backmost piston one tick into the back of that piston three ticks into the side of that repeater three ticks into the center piston four ticks leading off into nowhere <laughs> two ticks leading into that glazed terracotta oops two ticks let's go ahead and just lay these ones in over here same way four ticks three ticks oops that one's supposed to be one tick <laughs> three ticks three ticks four ticks two ticks and then we just need to dust it all together same way we did down below uh, but we're actually gonna start our dust line from down below we're, we're just going to step up these blocks we put in place here so go right up the line if you have glass or a, a slab you know transparent block here uh, you shouldn't have any problem with your redstone line being cut off but we're going to run this all the way over to the top of that piece of glazed terracotta right like that and then separate redstone line around the back go ahead and run into all the repeaters down a step into that repeater same thing on the other side all the way around don't forget to bring it up from the floor, be floor below all the way around onto the glazed terracotta and you will need redstone dust on each of these pieces of glazed terracotta right here uh, last, well, not last step, but almost last step, we need to get our observers in place up here. So let's go ahead and place one facing that back piston. And uh, yeah, it fires off. <laughs> and crouch place one into the repeater feeding into the nowhere. Feeding into nowhere. There we go. Uh, same thing on the other side. Repeater to nowhere. One facing the back piston. And this door is all linked up. If we just go ahead and place our solid blocks in here, let's go one there and one here. See, all our triple piston extenders are operational here. We hit a button, they will all retract, they'll stay retracted for a few seconds and then they come back out. So, all we need to do is, is put the blocks for our door in place. Okay, now to do this, you have to sort of alternate panels like I did over here uh, because the, you know, the honey and the slime, they don't stick together. Uh, so these triple piston extenders can each move independently, even though they're moving in sequence and they look like they're moving together. They're actually not. Uh, but you do three by three panels of the sticky blocks and you just kind of alternate. So let's go slime, 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 slime 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 and then from here you'd go same pattern with honey blocks drop down below then these ones would have to be honey blocks and then these ones slime blocks and that should still work just fine Now, of course, you'd want to put your door frame in, put a door frame in here. So uh, the door frame itself would have to be your glazed terracotta or your obsidian. And I suppose, I suppose even leaf blocks would probably work, uh, you know, if, that, if that's a route you wanted to take. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry about them being placed in neatly, but you, because you just want them right on the edge when the door is closed, just like that. Oops, not there. 
and then you can put them across the top of course here again I'm not gonna place them in neatly this time but that is the door completely operational how you choose to build it in uh, well that's an, that's entirely up to you as I said earlier in the video, uh, six of each of these blocks could be replaced with solid blocks, so I guess you could have put them in to begin with if that's the way you want to do it. Uh, but these center ones, they could actually be whatever block you prefer, um, and the door will still will still operate. I even um, put lighting blocks on the inside of my display model stuck to the door. You can add up to one lighting block you can see it in there but that'll illuminate your door at night uh, as I said you could also use pressure plates uh, to power the thing and well uh, you'll see what I mean by powering the right side of the outside of the door because well I guess it worked perfectly that time maybe I fixed it with this model <laughs> oh yeah I did I did but uh, <laughs> um, yeah this is like I said this is a sort of a separate model it's a little bit bigger uh, but it does allow for more, you know, more depth in your decorative decisions, I suppose. Uh, it, but, you know, it, it's really the same build. It's just I used a torch tower to reach both floors. And I'm taking a signal from the same block. So you see when this block receives power, it's turning off both this torch and this torch at the, at the same time. Which is actually powering both floors um, so that's how you know if you chose you to spread it out if you wanted to do it that way uh, you could do that but there you go there you go a six by six piston door uh, well, fully operational and that's 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 not that all not all that hard to do and my friends that completes today's minecraft tutorial and of course if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please remember to hit that like button and if you're interested in seeing more from me consider hitting subscribe as well i'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day